Welcome back. We have Rob Klassen joining us from Wholesale Sports for our monthly feature. And uh, Rob just got back from bear hunting. i got to yeah. ask you, how was it? It was great. The weather was not so great, but um, the proceeds were fine, actually. There is some bear meat going into my freezer, so it's good. Did you, uh, were you the catcher of the bear, the killer of the bear? <laughs> What's the right term? Her, got a bear? The harvester. The harvester. My son was the harvester. Amazing. Where and were you guys? We were up uh, up north in an area uh, known as Canham Lake. Yep. Um, so out near 100 mile house yep. away. Yeah. So it was a lot of fun, getaway, you yeah. know, relaxing. Yeah. My parents go camping there every year, so I know oh, where it is. Okay. Anyways, black bear, how old? Uh, I don't know. Not an old one. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be tasty. Yeah. For sure. Bear meat. Delicious. Yeah. Good for you. I love it. <laughs> okay. So in keeping with the hunting and camping theme, we're talking about some outdoor wear today. These are some beautiful shoes that Under Armour is putting out, both flip-flops and uh, running shoes. You're wearing yours. I'm wearing mine. Are yes. they comfy? They are very comfy. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say, uh, the purpose of those shoes is either for trail running or trail walking, namely, and they're called the Fat Tire. Mm -hmm. Now, they get that, that name as a result of uh, Under, Under Armour has... has uh, a partnered with Michelin because the tread is actually from Michelin. No way. And, yes. And actually, when the um, when it comes off the the market, the same tread goes on downhill uh, biking uh, tires. So they've got to be very good. They've got to be able to um, uh, grip very very well. Mm -hmm. And that's what they've done for me. I I've used them for trail running, and I tell you, when you're on the rough trails. They're extremely stable. The grip pattern is is, is awesome, and um, I totally enjoy them. You don't feel there's there's enough cushion in them that you don't feel the the boulders and stones under underfoot. Mm -hmm. So not not only has um, has Under Armour partnered with Michelin, but they've also partnered with a an orthotics company uh, known as Ortho Light, and they've done the insole. So they've done a great job on this on this shoe to to make it um, very good for the public mm -hmm. or, just or to anybody to wear. Get a feel for these puppies. They're very comfortable. I can't believe how thick the sole is, though, on them. Like they're it is. substantial. They're, uh, they're very comfortable. You um, you can't go wrong with them. I've worn them at work all day, and mm -hmm. you wear, wear on our feet for eight hours. And oftentimes, if you have a bad pair of shoes on, your legs are tired, your oh, feet are sure. tired, your back is sore. Yes. And I have not experienced that with these at all. Yeah. Yes. So you're going to pay a little bit more because they're a great brand. They've teamed up with a tire company to make sure the treads are solid. But that's right. You're going to have these for at least a couple, three years. Right? They're not the kind that are going to wear out no. from season to season. No. Heck um, no. You're going to buy it right the first time. You may. Mm -hmm. We'll go with those for sure. Totally. Yes. Okay, good to know. So it's really the same methodology for the grip uh, on the, the runner as it is for the uh, for the flip-flops. Yes, and talking yeah. to the Under, Under Armour people, what they've told me is they're going to graduate this tread pattern to a lot of their hiking boots. Oh, really? Uh, so that uh, because of the, the tread has received so much great uh, um, uh, feedback, yeah. and it's, it's very, very good. Interesting. So, I've yes. never seen that before. Very cool. They're brand new. Yep. Very cool. Brand new. And we're checking out some backpacks as well uh, for the avid camper or hiker or uh, backpacker. For right? sure. Day packers, mm -hmm. uh, multi-day packers or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. uh, people who want to travel with a backpack. And I've chosen the Osprey brand, and namely because um, I have a lot of respect for the Osprey brand. I, I own an Osprey backpack myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're very, very well done. The company specializes in load carrying devices. They haven't ventured off too far you know, to try to get a piece of this market, that market, and the other market, but they are they are pros in low carrying devices. Okay, this uh, is the um, female one. Let's hear the, a little bit about Yeah, the, the female one, what what makes the male one different from the, or basically you have a female one and then you have one that can fit e either sex, mm -hmm. but but the um, reason they call it a female one is because the, um, the, the waistband that goes around and you, you basically cinch it up against your hip bone, uh, the, the female hip bone is usually shaped a little differently than that of a male's, okay. right? So, so then the hip strap is shaped a little differently so that it, it's a more comfortable fit. Also, the shoulder strap is curved out a little bit more to make it more comfortable for ladies who, who have a build um, up front that, that's going to make it harder sure. or more uncomfortable for them with, yeah. with, with a regular strap. Okay. Yeah. And so that makes a difference. And I'm assuming there's all kinds of different pockets and places and great little ideas that go into making these backpacks. There are. There, there, are, whole, there are a whole lot of different pockets. Uh, in some of the brands, you can actually take the top uh, the top part of the pack off and make it a, a just a day pack like a, a fanny pack. Okay. So uh, that makes it very, uh, very good also. Mm -hmm. They're a lightweight pack. They, um, like the, uh, the green one we have here is, um, it's got what they call the trampoline back on it so mm -hmm. that there's a lot of airflow going through your back because whenever you're carrying a load, you're going to 
um, work up a little more body heat, of course, because mm -hmm. you're carrying more than just your own load. And so you're going to create a little more airflow. I mean, you're still going to be hot. You're still going to sweat in the back for sure. Mm -hmm. But that makes your life a little easier, uh, a little more comfortable for you. And, um, you know, the owner of, of the Osprey company, he, he's still around. He still manages the company. In fact, when they had to outsource this, uh, you know, overseas to make it more, you know, so it could compete with everything else in the North American market, he moved himself and his family to the um, to Asia where it's being made, so that he could have personal control on the quality control of the pack. So we mm -hmm. haven't lost anything in that. Like lots of places or lots of companies have you know, just sent it overseas and whatever comes back, comes back. Sure. But he's making darn sure that uh, these things maintain a, the high quality level mm -hmm. that I know the Osprey brand is, is very, very proud of and wants to maintain for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. So worth looking at, checking out if you uh, have somebody that you know that's going to be going backpacking soon or traveling or whatever the need might be. Well, that's right. You can use the backpack for, um, a lot of people use it for backpacking. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes larger isn't better because the more room you have, the more weight you're going to carry. And the average pack, you do not want uh, more than at least 45 pounds, maybe 50 if, if, you, if you have it in you. Mm -hmm. And at, at Wholesale Sports, we have um, devices where we can size you up properly with the pack because packs come small, medium, large, and some packs are adjustable, so they're one size fits all, but they, but they have adjustable shoulder straps on them. And as a result, uh, we get a, pa a pack that fits you properly because there's nothing worse than being out and about backpacking and your, your pack doesn't fit. And mm -hmm. it is painful, let me tell sure. you. And so, and we also have weight bags. We'll um, size the pack up to our customers. And then we put these weight bags, 10 pound weight bags, or we have several 10 pound weight bags. So they can get that feel for it. You get the feel for it because basically with a pack, you want all the weight around your hips. You want your big pistons, that being your legs, to hold the load, mm -hmm. and the shoulder straps basically aren't holding a lot of load. They're more of a stabilizing mm -hmm. uh, system than, than they are a load carrying mm -hmm. system. The system for, for loading up comes as a result of your waist strap, and you um, will be fitted that way for sure. A plethora of information. I think we could probably end up talking about this for the hour. It we, sounds like you know your could. backpack, so. <laughs> I've been wearing one for a number of years, there yes. There you go. <laughs> uh, we're out of time, but Rob's staying with us for another segment. We're going to be talking about great Father's Day gift ideas. But if you have any questions about backpacks, this is your guy. Uh, appreciate you uh, bringing some in today. Uh, information on the screen. We'll be back after a short break. Stay with us. Welcome back, Rob Klassen here for a second segment from Wholesale Sports, and we're checking out some great Father's Day gift ideas. June 19th, it's creeping up on us fast. Uh, we're looking at something here called the Fat Wrench. Rob, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the Fat Wrench. It's made by a company called Wheeler, and it's um, what a lot of people will want if they're doing their own uh, gun repairs, as, as in putting scopes onto their rifles or tightening up certain um, areas that need um, a certain torque tight tightness. Mm -hmm. so, so the Fat Wrench does have the right or it's got all the different um, fittings for, mm -hmm. for different size screws. And it also um, is a torque uh, wrench at the same time. So you're not going to over tighten. When you over tighten things with firearms and you're costing yourself a lot of money, you might be breaking a scope or, re or wrecking a scope or something you're installing on it. And that's the last thing anybody wants to do when they uh, want to be ready to go when okay. the time comes. Absolutely. Yes. You want to be careful with that yes. kind of stuff. Um, okay. What about the, what else? You, you well, okay. talk about. Um, let's talk about the Life Straw, which mm -hmm. is this item right here. It's incredibly popular at our store and I carry one myself in, in my backpack. And what it is is a water filtration system. What, uh, what it is is basically a throwaway after a thousand liters of water. Mm -hmm. um, you, you put the, the base of it in, into a puddle or whatever else if you need to drink and you can suck water through it and you'll be safe. It, uh, it takes out 99.49s of the, of, the, of the bad stuff. That's impressive. Yeah, you can it put is that impressive. into a dirty puddle of water you can, and drink it. And you can drink it and it shows it in pictures too. Now the company that makes the Life Straw, what's great about them is um, their main business really is purifying water in third world countries. So they do know what they're doing. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, something that I carry, it's super lightweight and if I ever need it, it's there. That's plain, amazing. Plain and simple, yes. Tell me this, does the water taste fairly normal? I haven't had to use mine yet. Okay, you but should test it out and let us know. I should test it out and I'll let you know, yes. <laughs> awesome, um, okay, next well, one. Let's talk about the thermocell. I, okay. I, again, I own one of those. I own two of them actually. And, and it, it's a bug repellent. Uh, so basically it works off a little butane canister that, la that will last you nine hours. So if you're, if you're stationary in an area, you, uh, you turn it on and it, um, 
it has uh, when it heats up it, it puts off a little bit of a uh, something that that mosquitoes don't like mosquitoes and flies don't like right and it actually works I've sat in campgrounds where there's lots of um, bugs and they don't bother me and I've heard similar stories from many people who have been up in the Northwest Territories mm -hmm. and have been sitting around when people are saying why are you so comfortable there's mm -hmm. so many bugs here they work I'll tell you right now do, does it attract them and kill them or do they just say oh well, I don't want to be here and they fly away it, it, it repels them so it doesn't That's kill fantastic. them it just sends them away what kind of square footage like if you're sitting around a uh, table having lunch with yeah. that yeah we could have one area? here or or here and and um, it would keep us both comfortable no bugs you know what that's yeah. huge because things like bees and mosquitoes they can make or break your trip they I've got those zappers you know those battery electric mm -hmm. things and you know yes. what? you can spend your whole day running after uh, a you, bee on that you can right yeah and and that makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. and it um, yeah they're trouble free they're easy to use and uh, fun I don't mind great. Them. I have to talk about the hummingbird um, okay um, Fish, fish finder, because every every dad on Father's Day uh, probably mm. wants a fish finder mm -hmm. if he if, if if he's into fishing. Yeah, and that's probably our most popular one, the hummingbird, uh, and that's a portable one. So, which means you can use it in many different boats. You can use it when you're ice fishing, for that matter. Um, it comes complete with a battery, a transducer, which is the the transducer is the part that you put in the water that that sends the sonar signals to the bottom and yes. bounces back and gives you your depth reading. Yes, uh, great pro a great product. Uh, they sell well. People like them. Um, if I was to get one, that's what I would get for sure. Every fisherman wants a good fish finder, that's for yes. sure. Are we almost out of time? I think we've got about 30 seconds, but okay. I want to show, I know we didn't get to everything, but can we get a close-up, Marcel? This is the cutest little keychain ever for the fishermen in your family. It's got the little attachment, of course, here. I'm waiting for the close-up. There we go. And then it measures, let me get this. Okay, of course I can't get it. <laughs> Hold on. It measures. It, just, it's a, it, it does work. Yeah, there, we there go. you go. And it measures your fish. So you catch your fish, you measure it, and then when you're done, you reel it back in. Yes. You reel it back in like this. Okay, how fun is that? And it's a keychain at the same time. That's fun. Yes. We didn't get to it all. Unfortunately, we're That's out of okay. time, Rob. But you know what? You always bring cool stuff in. So thank you again for uh, making it a It'll great segment. It'll be there for Father's Day. Just a quick mention, mm -hmm. on Friday there is a fantastic sale coming. Mm -hmm. uh, the store is opening extra early at 7 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and closing extra late at 10 o'clock at night. And there's going to be tons of Father's Day gifts ideas that are going to um, make anybody happy. And what day is this? Friday. This coming Friday. This coming Friday. Okay, the third, good to yep. know. Third of June. Great sale. We're out of time. Back in two. Stay with us.